Girls and boys, hello and welcome to today's math lesson. We are doing lesson 1-5 uh, and our chapter question has been the whole time what are strategies for finding addition and subtraction facts and today finally we're going to look at subtraction. So our essential question for today is, how can I count on and count back on the number line to subtract? Now, in yesterday's lesson, in our online lesson, our live lesson, we spent a lot of time talking about this. So this video is going to be pretty short because it seemed like everybody understood what we did. Remember this from yesterday? So we worked on subtraction problems with numbers from 1 to 20. And we started at one number and then we counted down. Okay, we can also count on. I'm going to show you both ways. Okay, so let's look at this. We have a number line here. How can counting help you find 12 minus 4? Use the number line to show your work. Well, let's see. Our problem is 12 minus 4. We start at 12. That's the bigger number. And then what we do is we count down four spaces. Okay, so we start at 12 and we say 1, 2, 3, 4. And look what we landed on, 8. So 12 minus 4 equals 8. This is counting down. Now, there is another way that you could use. I think it's a little bit more confusing, but you could also do it like this. You could start from the smaller number, which is 4, okay, and count how many spaces until you get to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 spaces from 4 to 12. So you could use counting on or counting down. My advice is use counting down. I think it's the easier strategy to use. Okay, now let's watch somebody else explain it. You can count on or count back to subtract on an open number line. Do you think you will get the same answer whether you count on or count back? Let's find out. Find 10 minus 4. You can count on to subtract. Draw each move as you count. Start with the lesser number. Count on to 10 to find the difference. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You count on 6 spaces to get from 4 to 10. So, 10 minus 4 equals 6. You can also count back to subtract. Start with the greater number. Count back four spaces. 9, 8, 7, 6. You land on 6, so 10 minus 4 equals 6. Counting on and counting back give you the same answer. Okay, thank you for explaining that. And remember, boys and girls, I recommend you count back or count down. It's much easier for subtraction, but you can use both ways, okay? Okay, so now we are in our book. 1-5 and we're looking at the guided practice and it says count on or count back to subtract. Show your work on the number line. 
and number one shows 11 minus 4 okay and you can see that they start at 11 and they counted 1 2 3 4 there's the 4 four spaces that were counted back and there's the answer okay now you can do number two and on page 23 you can do numbers three through seven now remember seven is a little bit tricky because it says higher order thinking how can you count on to find 13 minus 4 explain so all you have to do is use words this time to explain how you could count on to find 13 minus 4 and then page 24 number 8 says Callie had 18 seeds she planted eight, 10 of the seeds how many seeds does Callie have now okay that's a subtraction problem you can use the number line from the previous page okay if you don't have one available number nine makes sense Peter has 16 grapes he eats some of the grapes Peter has 10 grapes left how many grapes did Peter eat oh okay so for this one we know he has 16 and he ate some of them we don't know how many and we know he has 10 left this is where you might use the counting on strategy on the number line counting up let's see if you can figure that out number 10 higher order thinking tough tough question choose two numbers use the numbers to write or draw a subtraction story write the equation you use to solve your story boys and girls you don't have to go wild with the pictures you can just show me an equation and if you want to show some small object or pictures that helps me understand it great and finally number 11 assessment practice Jake wants to find 6 minus 3 use the numbers on the cards write them in the boxes to show how to use a number line to count on to solve oh okay you're gonna to have to think carefully about that and boys and girls that's it okay for homework finish pages 23 and 24 and actually there's one problem number two which is on page 22 and that's it, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day and watch all of your videos. The End